people have asked me about working out with a trainer is that um, are, am I concerned about getting too big? Like, I don't want to do weights. I don't want to do weight training because I want to thin up, right? Yep. I don't want to get I don't want to get big and bulky and look yep. like a look like a trainer. Yeah, yeah. I want to be thin and petite, <laughs> which I will never be tiny, but I would like to be thinner. Yeah. And, and slimmer. Yep. So what do you say to those people who are like, keep me away from those weights, I don't want that? Well, so that is probably the biggest myth, is weight training will bulk you up. Um, the only way to actually you know, bulk up is you have to do it on purpose. Which okay. Is, um, you're, if it was that easy to just bulk up, then there would be no supplement industry, there would be oh, no steroids. Sure. None of that. Sure. Because all you'd have to do is just lift heavy weights. Sure. But the body is more complex than that. Actually, when you lift weights, you get leaner and tighter because your muscle fibers will actually, they, instead of bulking out this way, they become you know nice and slender and tight because uh -huh. you're getting, you know, fat is, is fat is bulkier than muscle. And so that's what you want to focus on is the lean weight training. Muscle. Yep. The weight training itself will help build you lean muscle tissue, which will help burn more calories, burn more fat, even while you're not working out. Okay. And that's the benefit that most people don't know is when you put on more muscle mass, you put on, you know, you're actually adding a higher metabolism, so you're burning things more efficiently. You're creating a machine. And that's what you want to do. Is Absolutely. You want to fit in those, in those nice jeans or that nice dress or outfit and have a nice toned look, definitely have weight training mm. as part of your program. Mm. So... If you're not doing weight training, you're missing out on a big, big uh, benefit as okay. far as getting yourself to look the way that you want to look. The next thing is cardio. Most most people who are trying to tone up or lean out, particularly women, will ditch weight training altogether and only focus on cardio. Yeah, I was going to ask you, do we? Is there a certain time amount of time we want to spend doing cardio? Is there a percentage of cardio versus weight training? Yeah. Is it how many hours do I need yeah. to spend doing yeah. cardio every yeah. day? So, and and this is the the great thing about you know what we actually promote. Every person's body is different. Okay. So there is no like one program and that's it. So some people may need a little bit more cardio or a little bit less oh. based on how much weight training they're doing, what their nutrition is like for, um, you know, creating the, the muscle building environment. Yeah. And so cardio, just, I typically don't recommend doing cardio, specifically mm. really slow cardio uh -huh. for longer than 45 minutes. That's kind of like that, you know, as much as I, in, You're done. in, in my experience and opinion, based off client's results, mm -hmm. that's as much as you should do. Okay. I like 45 minutes. But you can incorporate things such as high-intensity training, which is doing intervals and things of that nature to make sure that you're maximizing your time in the gym because we don't want to keep you in the gym for three hours. Yeah, I mean, I like to get in, get out. So um, what would be, if I have 30 minutes, I, I can't do 45 minutes, I can't come to the gym for an hour, I have 30 minutes, get in, get out, what I, do I do? I would actually focus on uh, a, a circuit style training with weights and cardio at the same time. Okay. The way you do that is you just keep your rest periods very short, if you know, possibly zero, if you're doing different Running muscle Running from groups. things next thing to the next thing? Yep. Okay. Yep. So you would actually do things such as, you know, full body, maybe some jump squats, some push-ups, or some, some chest press, some back rows, shoulder presses, and you just keep moving. What that'll do is it'll keep your heart rate at an elevated pace, and that will help you to burn more calories and get more bang for your buck. Way better than 30 minutes or 20 minutes of just slow cardio. Way better. Because you're actually getting an opportunity to do both. Build some muscle, burn some fat, you get a little bit of cardio in there. And then if you're changing your eating habits to healthier, you should start to see some pretty big changes. That's what we did today, and I am tired. <laughs> <laughs> Run from one thing.